Hello folks and welcome back to real life, a place of murder, despair, intrigue and uh, sex. Yes, I said that and uh, now YouTube is just gonna take down all my videos, I'm not gonna be able to earn any money and it's all gonna be over. Yes, that's the, that's the truth. See, I now remember why I uh, we haven't conquered anything yet, and you know it's been al almost a hundred years since the start of the game, and we've only gotten a few provinces, shitty provinces. Yes, the DLCs are kind of responsible because it makes everything more realistic and all of that. But uh, on the one hand, of course, we're not Norse, and on the other, we haven't gone to our favorite place in the world, Ireland. Ireland is just a treasure. Like okay, it's very poor. It's I'm 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 not gonna lie, but it's where you start your first kingdom, where you build up, and just destroy everyone else. So, I think that is where we are going to set our eyes. Uh, we can't just declare war, unfortunately, since we're not Norse or otherwise. So we're gonna have to send our chancellor and start fabricating a claim somewhere, somewhere with few pacts. And uh, little resistance. I guess it could be Dublin. Dublin, you know, why not? Actually, wait, let me just double check this. 1,300 men, some gold. Sound, sounds perfect. The Knights of uh, Calatrava, yes, they made their battles end in victory, uh, of course. And uh, let's see, how much did they actually cost? A lot. Uh, although these, uh, or that's the Knights Templar, of course, because they're a lot larger, but uh, nine, yeah, not too bad. Not that we should worry, actually, because we're not going to be fighting infidels yet. Um, I mean, if we ever go down to India and stuff, yes, uh, but it uh, doesn't look like we're actually going to achieve that kind of time span. But uh, you'll never know. I tend to surprise myself. The Crusade for Jerusalem fails, a black day. Yeah, what did you think? <laughs> that you were gonna, like, defeat the Fatimids, the Seljuks, and everyone else in this, like, non-united fashion? Damn, you're stupid. We're gonna lower our taxes even, taxes even further. We have more supporters than opponents. So let's go ahead and try that, and voila! Mm, perfect. <laughs> How much do we earn now? It ta always takes a while to, for it to settle in, but uh, I imagine maybe four gold extra per. Wait, down the gold? That's crazy. Come on, more money. Give me more money. I increased. No, I decreased the taxes. Uh, should love it more levy focused. What's happening? Oh my god, I'm retarded. Oh, I I clicked on my own. God. Damn it! This is what I wanted to do, not, not this. A gain land for an unlanded son. We now have a 16-year-old Axel here. Uh, pretty decent, and not too amazing, not too good, but better than um, myself. Even no, not myself. Well, whatever. Uh, let's. Uh, should we get him married already? Um, not sure. Princess of the Byzantine Empire. That's always nice. But, I think we'll uh, wait a little bit. Unfortunately, my liege could not find it in his heart to give my son any land at this time. You bastard, you have lots of land. You own all of this. Uh, can't you just give it away? Some, some of this stuff is actually useless. You've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Dublin. Hell yes. We're totally going to use that. Uh, and you're already going to go ahead and move over to... Actually, let's see. That's Dublin. Let's get the whole title. Oh, a great library? Yes, please. Let's uh, let's build one. My, uh, I, I'm gonna like my gout thing just went away. The the whole treatment thing. So I'm gonna have to redo it. And it's a well tra tested treatment, so it shouldn't be too bad. And our physician isn't uh, a bad physician at all. So he brought in the croaking a croaking bucket to your chambers and told you to expose your upper body he grabbed the toad uh, gutted it with a deft hand and proceeded to place the still twitching carcass on your chest wow interesting it worked I'm sorry but this is really strange there's one county actually I guess he's a duke because he's a petty king in all of Ireland that has a different color from everyone else because everyone else has a, a a different color of green and then this guy just has this weird beige like dark beige 
Uh, is it orange? No, I, I don't really know how to describe that. Yeah, beige brown. Now, now we're gonna actually change the tax thing. So, Kingdom of Sweden, burglar, or burger, not blur, burglar. I guess it's the same thing, right? Uh, anyway, levy shifted burger tax obligations. We have more supporters, and uh, click, and wait, and some auto saving, and come on, come on. Oh my god, it's so slow. Uh, love your range for it. I don't care. Come on. Just give give me the lower taxes Samogita prospers. Okay Approved inst institution of shifted burger burger tax All right, and now we're just gonna have to wait uh, so that we can change this one back up this way uh, Stupid of me It's time to go to war. Let's declare war. She does have some money, but uh, probably not enough to defeat us She's betrothed, whatever. How old is she? 15. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, what's When's your birthday? February. Uh, I was going to wish you happy birthday, but I guess not. Maybe I'll be by your castle on your birthday. Who knows? Let's, uh, of course, call everyone to arms. And uh, then we'll get our ships ready. Some mercenaries, maybe. And uh, get on our way. Oh, right. Looks like our allies are just going to do everything. Maybe we shouldn't have hired those mercenaries. Uh, well, worst case, I can just put them down. But uh, actually, they might be useful. Ju mm. Actually, maybe I might be regretting this. Who cares? Whatever. We'll uh, send back the ships later and uh, avoid the massive 35 cost there. Oh, yes! The Romeo and Juliet event. I haven't seen this one before, so it's Edla Totils daughter of the house Stroben and my son Axel uh, Halstenson. Let's see. She's actually the daughter of uh, Patrician to Totil. So let's see. A nightly visit. You wake up in the middle of the night after a restless sleep and decide to go for a stroll through the empty corridors of your palace. For some reason, you can't shake the feeling that something is amiss as you pass your son's room. You hear faint girlish laughter and other sounds of carnal nature. You kick open the door to reveal your son in bed with the secret lover. To your hor horror, you recognize the girl as Edla of the despicable uh, of, of the despicable Stroben family. As you furiously scold your son for bringing such shame to the family, the girl leaps out of bed wearing only the bedsheets and runs away in tears. The sound of her brawling echoes through the palace corridors and it is matched uh, in volume only by your voice as you're, you discipline your son. You know what? I'm gonna be nice because uh, I'm not a cruel person. I'm diligent, I'm chaste, I'm charitable, and I'm just. So perhaps I acted in haste. I will not stand in the way of true love. Oh no! Oh, so romantic and beautiful. You're eating supper when the door to your palace's dining room suddenly flies open and Patrician Tutil storms inside, chased by your guards. Where is she? Tutil demands, pounding his fist on the table. Damn it, Halsten! Where is my daughter? He slams a piece of paper on the table. I expressly forbade her from having anything to do with that no good son of yours, but today I found this note. He reads with a somber voice, Father, since you would deny me the love of my life, and since, etc, etc, my love and I have decided to end it all. Farewell. With a gasp, you push the table aside and rush up the stairs towards your son's room with Tutil on your heels. There, embracing each other on the floor, the two lovers lie dead next to an empty bottle of poison. This feud has cost us everything. It has to end. Oh, my son. My only son. I was gonna find land for you. And you just decided to give up. Coward. No, just kidding. It's, uh, I, I forgive you. I understand. Love is a powerful, powerful thing. Offer peace and force demands. We shall take Dublin. Dublin is ours. Oh, long live us. How are the epidemics doing? We have a bunch of consumption here. We have some measles over there. Another batch of consumption. Slow fever. Dancing plague. And some camp fever. Oh, I just realized this was added. There's a, a new crossing here between uh, Dufed, however you pronounce that, so yeah, Wales, and uh, Ireland. 
that's actually quite an interesting choice. Again, I think uh, they added that along with the whole crossing to Gotland over there and some other little paths in s on some locations that kind of annoy me a little bit, just a little bit, but I understand. Oh, well, finally we can reverse this horrible law that I passed into being. Yeah, good. Oh, we can build a soup kitchen, why not? It's actually quite cheap, 300 gold or something, and we get a plus 4 disease resistance and some piety, uh, as well as a Temple Vassal Opinion. Ooh, okay, it's kind of expensive, maybe I shouldn't have built a soup kitchen, but I'll press those claims, and uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and move my man, my guy already, uh, maybe over here, down south. Which, which one's richer? That's 84 and 69, that's 77 and 83. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, put you on this. Oh, an Irish Liberation Revolt. I see why this isn't green. It's because this guy is actually Welsh. So it's somehow connected to... Oh, no, okay, yeah, he controls this, right? Yeah, he's the... Uh, that's why he's a petty king. I was like, well, how's this guy a petty king? doesn't make any sense yeah but that's why so uh, we'll let them revolt of course and then uh, we'll march in and take it for ourselves of course Ireland only has one problem it's uh, this goddamn independence uh, issue where they're always revolting and wanting to be free ah uh, no no shit why does this always happen like I, I die before I think I should let's see you have a new air I'll Svarkir, okay, so, Olaf Guldhammer has been elected the new mayor. Um, that's me, Olaf II. Håkan is no longer chancellor. Yeah, whatever. So, Grand Mayor Halston has given up the ghost at age 55. He died of complications related to gout. A shining example of diligence, his duty was never neglected. A godly man. Halston is with God now. Grand Mayor Olaf II and the accomplished diplomat. Vassals and foreign rulers... Uh, alike are sure to respect him. Long live Grand Mayor Olaf the uh, Second. And Stroben, of course, doesn't like me because of the opinion to my predecessor and a seat on the council, which I'll, I guess I'll give him. But yes, that is <laughs> who am I actually? Let's uh, check the family tree here. Olaf. All right. So uh, this was Halston. This is Olaf. That's uh, we're cousins, I guess. And my father was Niels, and my, my grandfather was Axel. Oh, and I'm a genius. Ah, perfect. I'm actually, this is going to be great. I'm 43, no diseases. I might die of stress, but that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Do I have a claim? Barony of Arlo? Arlo? All right. Fine. Uh, in fact, we'll have to send back our chancellor. Who is you and my steward? I'll put you on board there. All right, so we'll claim this again and uh, just uh, go to war and take that and expand in Ireland and be great. Maybe we'll even become kings with uh, Olaf here or grand mayors rather, or uh, is it grand prince or something? I always forget. We are now known as the Wise, and we also sent one of our nieces to the future. Or he—he's not. You know, 16 yet, that's why I'm saying future, but King Moniac of uh, Gwynedd. Gwynedd? I, I was. I have no idea how to pronounce that. If there's any Welsh person, you know, please uh, teach me Welsh. Although, uh, Welsh does seem like a very interesting and difficult language, uh, being one of the last Celtic ones. Anyway, uh, what was it we were going to do? I don't remember. Request council position? Yeah, why not? I just married off my cousin and heir to the very woman that my other cousin, right? It was, or no, did we finish off the war? I think we we did. I, I don't even remember. Anyway, she's the actual person who held on to the uh, the title of Dublin here, and has a strong claim on Sildar as well. Interesting. Oh wait a minute, my niece is the king, queen of Sweden. I totally did not notice we have had a new king here. But yes, we we did, my uh, family is so powerful. This is actually really nice. Offer non-aggression pact. Guess that doesn't work so well. Could we give you some money? Like, how much do I? Uh, how can I make you happier about me? Oh, 
Oh right, no, we're claiming stuff. Otherwise, I'd put my uh, diplomat there. Oh no, I might actually be ill. Maybe I should have shut the gates. Uh, cause, uh, but there's nothing in the province, so... Anyway, uh, Azur suggests you're probably developing consumption or something like that. He insists you follow his instructions. You are confined to your bed, your body racked with aches and chills. You have contracted the flu. Oh, right. Unlikely that I'll die with the flu. Your court physician, Azur, has come to see you and offers... Wait, Azur? Really? Oh, of the realm of Sweden. Interesting. He's not that good, because I just changed my actual court physician in Gotland, and he's a, an 18. Anyway, there's several different tr types of treatment he can offer. My life is in your hands, yeah. Azur gave you a draught which tasted most peculiar. It made you feel numb and your eyelids started drooping. I apologize, my lord, but you do not want to be awake for this next part, he said. Panic hit you and you try to get up from the operating table, but your limbs would not obey. Curses may Satan strike Azur down. I gain the trait Enoch, and Azur, the opinion goes down by minus 50% for only 160 months. I feel like it should be like forever. Uh, anyway, he cuts my dick off, or my testicles. May hopefully my dick works now, but Enoch, I think, is when, uh, yeah, it's not just castrated, it's, uh, you can he cut off everything. God damn. Ah, oh, ah, oh, why? He was a genius. This this DLC, man. This is this is actually making things hard, but yeah. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you'll play as Håkan Nilsson. Sverke Gultama has been elected the new Grand Mayor of um, the Great Republic of Visby. They all look the same. Maybe I should cut their hair and do some different stuff. All because no longer spy master, whatever. So, Grand Mayor Olaf II has been uh, given up the ghost at age 48. He died from ba a bad case of the flu, and of course, being cut up at the table. His dick cut off, yes. Um, never tempered, he never let his base urges get the better of him, <laughs> except at the very end. A godly man, Olaf, is now with the, uh, or is with the Lord now. Grand Mayor Sverker, a retowned and selfish man. We are hoping he will not eat the realm out of house and home. Long live. Grand Mayor Sverker. Uh, let's get that paused. Oh my god, my... This is terrible. Let's uh, do rulership just to get my... The men's size up, hopefully. Hmm, this is this is actually horrible. Should we try to become a counselor? Or gain land? Counselor. You know, I only recently discovered I can do uh, control click for plus 100 and shift click pl for plus 50. It's amazing. It, it's probably been there all along, but I've just been really stupid and complained without reason. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's the shift and control. They're just amazing. All right, so our father was Stianchil, son of Axel. Um, and here we are. Uh, who's the heir though? Nil Håkan Nilsson. Håkan Nilsson is a cousin on the Nils side of the family. My nephew, Michael Mikael, has requested to join the Knights Hospitaller. Hospit I can't pronounce this shit. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Because uh, I know. Hospitaller? Or is it Hospitaller? Or Hospital? No, okay, no, just kidding. Anyway, in their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him, go with my blessing. My daughter to the King of Norway. Hell yes. Ah, there we go. A claim on the other county in Dublin. Uh, is it? Is it, it's called the Republic of Dublin, right? Let's see. It's the Duchy of Meath, actually. Sorry. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and use that, and uh, we'll declare war once we have a little bit more of a war coffer going. All right. Uh, because of the event troop kind of stuff that happens here from that Liberation Revolt, this guy keeps around an army of seventeen thousand. So, let's go attack something else, shall we? This is uh, not really what I'm looking for. You know what I just realized? I am Sverker, the one who I married off to Margaret Hovartsdotter, who owned Dublin. Holy shit, this is actually dangerous. She might uh, want to kill me. I either murder her or get murdered. 
Uh, I mean, the fact that she's a title claimant, I could give her lots of money, but that won't really change the situation too much. So let's uh, try to get rid of her. Who will join me? I, I need, I need people to join me. Uh, I can't have this. Ah, no, my wife discovered my plot, attempted murder, and now probably everyone in the world hates me. Attempted murder of child? What? She's not a child, she's 28. Where did... <gasps> Was my child with her? Maybe. Who knows. Uh, let's actually check this again. What about you? Charitable versus greedy. What about my vassals? That's the great question. How many vassals hate me? My bishop... Uh, envious foreigner wants a seat on the castle. Okay, nothing to do with the murder. There we go. Now we have a claim that we can use. <laughs> Not against someone with like a 21,000 uh, stack. The thing is, like I've tried murdering him, but we just don't have enough plot power. Anyway, uh, we'll build a little bit of a bigger war chest, and then we'll go to war. He has two allies. Ooh. This might actually be a problem. Oh well, whatever. Uh, my chancellor must keep going. Keep claiming. The plot is revealed again! Manure! God damn it. How's this? She's smart, my wife. Uh, 11 and 3. I mean, that's not great, but... she has. Someone's telling her. Someone must be telling her. And my spy master is dead now. Mm, whatever. And now she's pregnant. She hates me, but somehow... Uh, we had uh, intercourse, maybe. Might be a bastard. Does she have any lovers? Not that we know of. Gotland prospers as, uh, as the prosperity of Gotland increases. Land which was previously considered marginal is increasing in value. With the proper incentives, it should be possible to clear enough land to found a new holding upon. Seems like I have uh, not enough money, but uh, you know, we're not gonna. We'll make it up in a month. Uh, so that adds a second slot here. That's very nice. And then we might get a second event by the end of the game and we'll be able to max this out. Which is uh, pretty cool. My son wants to join the Varangian Guard. Of course, they're all Catholics now, so not Norse, but uh, they still exist and they want to serve some Greek king there. Oh, Greek king, yes. He means the Emperor. Uh, the heir to the Roman Empire, basically. Anyway, um... Will I allow it or not? I guess, uh, go to Miklagod and make me proud, son. Because he will come back, probably. He might die, he might not. He might even become the leader of the the whole Varangian thing. But since we're not, uh, since we're a seniority succession system here, I don't really mind. So we got a claim on this other place here, and that's, uh, let's go ahead and, um, uh, declare war. Uh, my allies should do most of the work. I actually have an alliance with Norway. I totally forgot about that. That's cool. Uh, in fact, I, I'm going to check up on it just to make sure. And that's still a thing called your arms. Yeah. Allies. And they, they have a holding down south now. So that really does help out a lot. We've uh, gone ahead and declared war on these guys at the same time. I'm going to call my... Allies in, of course, so they finish him off. Uh, he is allied to to uh, this place here, but they're not too threatening. I mean, worst case, I pour some troops in and try to beat them. It looks like they these guys are just gonna smash them, and then Norway can do quite some damage as well. So I pulled back some money from our campaign. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of money stacked up over here, and uh, this should be enough to carry on our war for just a few more months, uh, but it seems like my allies are doing quite an amazing job here. I'm just gonna march in, destroy these troops, and we'll siege this down, and it should all be over, and they'll have another duchy. Offer peace, yes, lovely, next, next and attack there, although this one might take a while because I'm not the siege leader, so we'll have to actually manually, or not manually, but we'll just have to wait for Norway to siege that down. I'm depressed, another day at court, another endless uh, procession of matters that uh, are required to pass judge, blah, blah, I can't read, yes, but I'm depressed. By God, will you just shut up about your pigs? Um, so, yes, 100%, offer peace, surrender, 
And there we go, we can create a title. How much is it? 162 gold. I'll do it, and then we'll put down our troops. And uh, then we'll re-inject some cash from our campaign here. It seems like our competitor died there, so uh, I can actually do this. Good. Wonderful. I think that will be the end of this particular episode right here. I don't know, um, should we continue, should we not? I do think we'll continue, of course. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. There's uh, still a few things to conquer. And yes, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps me out. Share with your friends. It uh, That's like the best thing you can do ever to a YouTuber. Like and share. Not even subscribe. Like subscribing, of course, helps. But uh, viewership and uh, just people seeing things that that's how youtube works right so sharing is caring anyway don't forget to subscribe i'll see you later farewell